Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had just gotten into uh, our Jedi duties, which is now trying to help out the people of Dantooine. Because uh, the Jedi Council is not really doing much in that regard for reasons we cannot ascertain. But, there seems to be... Uh, you know, a couple things that need to be done. There was a mission over here that I forgot to grab because I realized that, uh, <laughs> all pretenses are gone. I've played this game before a little bit, uh, not very much, but a little bit. So I know some of the things that need to be done that I consistently forget about. Uh, Elise. Greetings, young Jedi. I wonder if you could assist me. Mm -hmm. I seem to have lost my companion, you see? Companion? We were working on my farm to the north of here. I was working in the garden outside, and he was working inside. I heard the door mm -hmm. to the house open, but not close. I went to see and found it wide open. I searched okay. everywhere and could not find him. I worry so much. I need him back so badly. I wonder if he... Could he have been kidnapped? Uh... Does anyone hold a grudge against None him? that I know of. Um... None of my neighbors really know he's there. Maybe it was the Mandalorian. Okay. Or maybe Cathounds. But no, Cathounds are not intelligent enough to open doors. Although they have been more vicious lately. No. It must have been someone who could open the door by himself. Come to think of it, the door was locked. Did someone break it down or did someone have a way to bypass no. the lock? The door was undamaged and showed no signs of tampering. Could it have been open from the inside? Well, yes, it could have, but he had no reason to run away. His programming... Programming? Your missing companion is a droid. Yes, uh, he is a droid, but he is very valuable to me all the same. Okay. He's the last piece of my poor passed away husband that I have left. He is very dear to okay. me, precious is. I don't know You're what I do precious. without him. He's the only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. Okay. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. Okay. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Please, I beg of you. Okay. Return my droid to me. A little odd, but okay. Uh, if I happen to see him, I'll send him back to you. Thank you. Thank you, Master Jedi. I don't really deserve him, Master please. Jedi. Send him home to me. I need him so I much. Need him so much, huh? A little odd, but okay. I don't necessarily remember how this one played out. Okay, so. Uh, didn't I clear this area earlier? I could have sworn I did. Did I not? Did I not clear this area? Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. Uh, let's do an improved flurry and uh, at least get this one taken care of. Alright. Well, that sucked. Alright. Well, we're getting somewhere at least. Alright. And no remains from him whatsoever as the usual. The other cath hound go. No, I saw another one. There it is. I'm trying to go this way. Alright. Well, not like we're trying to hunt them down or nothing, but they are causing havoc. Kind of need to deal with them. Alright. Ow! Ow! There we go. Whoa! Oh, don't know what that sound was about, but that was weird. Okay. All right. Well, then. Um, might as well do some heals. Since they're essentially free. There we go. All right. Go back to the Metale grounds. Huh. 
What the f Okay. I don't remember you being here. Alright, well, you're getting some damage on it. There we go. Did I already... Whoops. Did I already explore most of this area? I did. So why is there... Is there still cath hounds around? Not sure. Alright, let's go to the grove, which is where we needed to go. Oh, oh. Okay. The fuck? Okay. There we go. That was almost immediately into the fight. Alright, well that was fast. Well, immediately into the shenanigans. Well, these ones, at least these ones are easy to deal with. Alright. Time to do a heal. Alright. Alright, let's just deal with the small ones. Deal with the small ones. It's easier and faster that way. Okay, Big Z is taking some damage. Okay, time to do a med pack. And then another med pack. And then he should be fine. Alright. Deal with the small ones. Okay, come on. There we go. I can't even get to the small ones with them in the way. Alright. And... We're good. We made it. Just barely, but we made it. Oh. Okay. Seems to be someone standing in there. I have a feeling I'm going to have to save. <laughs> Alright, now the saving's done. Now let's continue on. Oh, there seems to be a couple dead Mandalorians here. Mandalorian melee shield, huh? Huh. I have a feeling I should wear that. Then again, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> I think I have a decent with this here. Yeah. Just blocks up to 20 points. That's not even worth it. Fuck that. Alright, well, let's give it to someone else then. Um, there we go. That'll work. Since he's the only other melee person who would probably have to deal with that, I might as well. Um, yeah, that works. Um, I have a feeling this is not what it appears to be. I will be your doom! Um, okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Dark Jedi, huh? Oh, joy. Okay. Good thing I put the shield on. Oh, because she would be kicking my ass. Okay. All right. Oh, she burnt through the shield. Okay. Okay. You, you are strong, stronger than me, even in my darkness. Yeah, I guess. Um, who are you? I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. Okay. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I saw. When you this. embrace the dark mine. side, you embrace the dark side. Why? When I slew my master, Quatra. I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Dark side is never powerful enough. 
<laughs> just, yeah, let's not go goofy like that. Uh, you slew Quatra, your master? Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. What is it you want? Why do you bother me? I was sent by the council to cleanse the taint from this grove. The council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? I have no desire to kill you, John. Lies. Leave me and come back when you have the courage to finish your task. Okay. Well. This is a thing. This is a thing where the clear... <laughs> the clear goofiness of the system is apparent. Because the system works on dice rolls. Dice rolls that aren't always in your favor. Obviously. And... In this respect... It can... make it very tempting to just kill her and get it over with. But the fact of the matter is she is a companion you can get. If you just kill her, then the companion's lost. That said, you kind of have to convince her to rejoin the light side. I think there may be a way to have her join you and convert to the dark side. I don't know. I've never tried that. I'm not going to try it this playthrough because we're not the asshole this playthrough. Uh, and this is where it gets dicey because the dice roll system means that it could be a long time before I even get to it <laughs> to the point that I can actually have her join me so we'll try it what is it you want why do you bother me I was sent by the council to cleanse the taint the council has sent you here to kill me not necessarily uh, I have no desire to kill you you do not I nope. am pathetic I sit here and think myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. <laughs> yep, there, and then you get flirty real damn fast. Come now, Jihani, you are a beautiful young woman who has much talent. You think compliments will convince me I didn't kill my master? Leave me to my agony. Whoops. <laughs> too far. Too late. Okay, let's try it again. The council has... And no desire to kill you. I am pathetic. I Every success pathetic. gets registered as a success, so you don't have to do it over again. Usually. You think compliment. Um, there is chances that it won't work. The council has... And... Lies. Like that. <laughs> The council has... Depends Lies. on how far in the interaction you get before it gets saved as an Lies. interaction completion. <laughs> the council has... Uh, Lies. God. It's gonna be seek, seek, lest during the fucking... <laughs> seek, seek, souls, lest from fucking Dark the Souls. The council has sent you... Okay. I am pathetic. I uh, was... let's try it again. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. You're I welcome. I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. I... Life is a learning experience. It is not your fault, John. It is. It is. It was I who hurt her. I who killed her. Her suffering is my fault alone. Leave me to my pain. All right, so that registers as a completed interaction, I think. 
I'm gonna try it again. I do not know what to do. Now that I have caused such suffering to my master okay. and those around me. That counted as a completed one. Now I can start from here in convincing her instead of where I started originally. It at least gives you that. But it still takes a while. It is not your fault, Johnny. It is. It is. It Damn it. Leave me to my pain. Damn it, you adorably goofy accented I do not know what to do. Cathar. I'm not sure how I feel about the hairstyle, but you're Cathar, so I like you a little bit. I only wish things could have been different. Mm -hmm. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. Do not worry, Jahani. They will surely take you back. I should convince them that I am truly repentant. That I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I have done? Of course it would. They would always accept you back. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. Okay. Cool. <laughs> the most annoying interaction of the whole game. Uh, and I got lucky in the last three. <laughs> Whew, okay. So, uh, leveling up. Uh, treat injury up. Um, I had to persuade because I don't want to have to deal with that again. Oh boy. Okay. Powers. Okay. What should I put in for that? Um, I guess I could go to dominate mind, which is a universal power, but usually leads to dark side things. So, uh, that's probably not a good idea. Um, dark side powers. A lot of them are dark side powers. Because a number of them, well, a number of these ones are dark side powers that cause damage. Because that's usually what you're using it for. Causing damage. And thus, not a good guy thing. But, um... Force push would be nice. Uh, it'd be a nice thing to have other than stun. Uh, then again, being able to stun them or slow them down is probably a good thing. Again, that's essentially the same as push. Uh... I'll go with push. I'll go with push for now. That'll work. That'll work. It remains off of you. Mesh underlay, med pack, and battle stimulant. Cool. All right. Well, there's the taint taken care of. Oh, I see some Mandalorians over there. Well, another cat hound apparently found us, which is fine. All right. Doing good. Cool. All right. Oh, more cat hounds. I should probably deal with them. Okay. All right. Well, now we're in the middle of combat. Quite a bit of combat. Okay, well, this is not going to go well. Alright. Wait, actually. There we go, that worked. Beautifully. Even. Alright, it stunned him enough that we can actually get some damage in before comes back. Good. 
Good, good, good. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to have to use those force powers a lot more and having so little force <laughs> points to do so is not a fun experience, let me tell you. Okay. Let's just do a mid pack on you. There we go. Now we can conserve some of my force points. All right, so, so far so good. Whew. We have to deal with them eventually. Can I get, I can further select my party. Okay, cool. I was thinking that while Big Z is pretty big strong in the melee aspect, it would be nice to have another support person who can use force powers. Which means that really the only other choice is uh, Bastila. Can I even select her? No, I can't. So, I'm screwed. <laughs> That's what I'm learning. Alright. Had to drink, take a drink of coffee. Give me a bit. Ooh. <coughs> Some went down the wrong tube. Okay. Anyway, ooh, weird little glitch. The emulation isn't perfect, all right? <laughs> just, I just, suffice it to say, it's not perfect. Okay, so, um, let's have you turn on yours, turn on yours, and we go into combat. With the Mandalorians. Hey, nice. Worked out beautifully. Oh, damn, we just blew through that Duros warrior like it was nothing. Actually, I should probably. Alright, he's dealt with. Alright, you're down. You're gonna be down in a second. Come on. Whoopsie, not that. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, that's not how I wanted that. That's fine. Oh, boy. Big Z, I meant to hit Cure. Sorry. Didn't work out. The button screwed me up. The game was being goofy. It's not my fault. <laughs> game fucked me up. My dad works at a Nintendo. Okay. Mandalorian data pads, huh? Oh! Those enhance strength even more. Hmm. Jarg went missing in Sector B, then Riza saw someone moving south from up there. Take a couple troops and find out who it is. If they look suspicious, terminate. Jarg, did you remember not to take the XT model bike out today? There was something funny with one of the intakes, and I thought it could jam. Ha! Consider yourself lucky. If someone was dumb enough to take that thing out, he would have plowed right into the ground within the kilometer. Or kilometer. However, however you want to pronounce it. I don't really care. Uh, this actually is much stronger than my current gloves. This device uses micro bursts of repulsor lift energy to assist actions in combat, giving the appearance that the user is stronger than normal. Because it's true. Alright. Uh... Oh, you are willing to wear gloves. Awesome. Okay, so I'll give you that. You're not willing to wear that, though, but that's fine. Actually, do I have you doing dueling in your skills? You do. Okay, that's fine. Huh? What? All right. I uh, just need to wait for... Uh... Okay. Need to wait for my, heal my healing ability to come back, rather. I can't talk. Uh, or, I just use a med pack. There we go. It's not great, but it's something. Huh? Sure. Uh, I can actually heal now, so might as well. And use that last med pack on myself. There we go. Okay. So, I emptied out this backpack. So it's good. All right. 
Oh, boy. Didn't mean to use up the shield as much as I did. But that's fine. Uh, oh. I already had a map of the grove. Wasn't aware. Well, I was already in the ancient grove. Path north and path south. Let's keep going south. Why not? See if we can deal with these Mandalorian fucks. Sandral grounds. Huh? This one I'm pretty sure I don't have a map for. I probably don't. Okay, so they're still mad and still fighting. But, uh... That's fine, I guess. Alright. Hi there! Alright. Okay, well... This is gonna be a problem so fast if I don't start doing a lot of damage. Alright. Cath Hound. Easily deal with this. Color seems a little off of that Cath Hound, doesn't it? Compared to the other Cath Hounds. That's weird. Oh! That's the droid! That's probably the droid that was mentioned by that one woman. You, uh... <laughs> you were almost dead there, bud. You okay? Thank you for saving me, Master Jedi. I am C842, a personal assistant droid. Uh, why... Why were the Cath Hounds attacking you? Who knows? They are beasts, and have been very aggressive of late. I You're right. I'm sorry if I seem a bit abrupt, but I must be moving along. I am rather in a hurry. Uh, are you running from something? From my master, Elise. Wait, did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. You're running from her. Weren't you kidnapped? No, I ran away of my own free will. But I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. Uh... All the time? You don't want to know. Oh... Probably not. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. You sought them out? Wait, are you suicidal or something? I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people, living people. Please, will you destroy me? Uh... I'm not sure. Um, I'll destroy you and tell her why you did it. Thank you, kind sir. You have my eternal gratitude. All right. <laughs> What an odd turn of events. She was essentially using that robot to fill the place of her dead husband. In more ways than one. <laughs> there was... There's a lot wrong with that. Um, ha, <laughs> mm. I think I made the right choice there. I think I made the right choice. Crystal Cave. Well, 
Well, I went from murdering a robot who was being abused by their owner, who is in tremendous amounts of grief from her dead husband, to uh, the crystal cave where I can possibly get more crystals and hopefully the color crystal I'm looking for. But, uh, Kinrath. Oh boy. Man, it's dark. Welp, so much for that working out. Oh, great, they can poison. Lovely. All right, well, we're in trouble. They can poison. And I can't loot them or anything. Great, okay. Well, guess all I can do is heal myself so that the poison doesn't kill me. Oh, joy. Okay, so, gonna end the episode here for right now. Uh, we're eventually going to get further into the cave and hopefully not have to deal with the Kinrath poisoning all of us to death. <laughs> but here's hoping. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and helping a somewhat fallen Jedi get back on her feet. Uh, and back on the light side. And help... The robot who we were initially helping the woman who owned him uh, try to find him only to find out that she is cuckoo bonkers crazy and trying to use the robot to fill the place of her dead husband and we need to end that because that's not healthy in any respect for you.